Welcome back guys to Mario and Luigi Partners in Time where the elder Mario and Luigi seem to have got themselves in a bit of trouble more to the point they were bombarded by alien spaceship after finding their way to the pass of the Mushroom Kingdom. They seem to be knocked out for the count however it seems the baby Mario and Luigi who naturally inhabit this time and now on the Bowser Cruiser being bombarded themselves so let's see what happens as we move onwards. Time to show these alien jerks what the Koopa Cruiser can do! Fire the Koopa Cannon! Fire! 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 Well, the Bowser invention that works well! <laughs> I'm just so dang evil! I hope they felt honored to be shot down by me! You're the best, Prince Bowser! You're a Koopa's Koopa! <laughs> But it seems all things are not perfect here. Hey, you call that piloting? Pay attention, Skynet! Prince Bowser, there, four o'clock! Those villagers are under shroom attack! Your... your orders? Should we help them? Oh man, it's half past snack time already. We we saw nothing. Everybody clear on that? Great hoogly boogly! The princess does not approve of this. Young Master Bowser, abandoning those folks is reprehensible. My ears! She'll ruin us all! Fine, I'll help them. It'll just shut her up. Cooper Cannon! Fire! Fire! I hope your accuracy is good. Well, it is. There. Happy? You two, take care of things from here. Don't get them, Red. You too, Greeny. Young Masters, if you would, please go check on those unfortunate villagers. That, I believe, will make the princess most pleased and perhaps avoid future tantrums. I shall wait right here for your no doubt triumphant return. Tally ho and all that. Tally ho, sir. You saying anything else apart from that? The shrooms are rather nasty. Do take care of yourselves. We should be fine though, surely. They have been taken care of, haven't they? We say. It seems there are no enemies around. So I'll let us wander straight on through. And find our future selves. Uh oh. Now they're like, ah, attack again! If I had to be a translator, it would be attack indeed. I'm not too sure this is gonna go so well though, however. Well, we did free damage. Young Master Luigi! I feel I should tell you that young Luigi's action command uses the Y button. Press the Y button just before an enemy attack! Okay then, we should be fine. Except they've got lasers. And we can know which way they're going, but still, double jumping is best. Young Masters! Let's give you two some bros items, shall we? These items require you to attack as a duo. Please, you two, take these green shells. Yes, as you both can see, the bros item block has appeared in your commands. Use the green shell according to the on-screen directions when you choose it. Indeed, pay close attention so that you may master the nuances in no time. Please choose the bros item block. Okay then. We've got green shell. Press the button to kick the shell, then keep kicking. It uses five of something. So let's use it, I guess on you. And we keep kicking it back and forth, do we? Oh, except when we miss. We've got a total of eight damage. Right, please choose the bros item block. I will indeed. Right, press the button, keep kicking the shell, and keep kicking. So it's the same thing, pretty much. We've got to defeat this one. Come on. Keep kicking. Keep kicking. Keep kicking. Oh, actually, we defeated him. With bros items, you cannot defeat us. I have quite a few, so use all you wish. 
Oh, thank you, sir. We'll keep using them, I guess, then. Seems a bit over kill, though. As long as I hit, anyway. Except you get lost a little bit and all the stars appearing. I have quite a few. It's just basically spewing them out towards me, like, keep using them. My mummy. We'll defeat this guy. I'm more likely to miss it on Mario, I think. Oh, missed it there. Seems Luigi, I've got it fine. Surely we should just be able to jump on him to finish him off now. Oh well, let's keep using it. I mean, we've got them. They're just too strong for us. How are you not defeated yet? There we go. Bro's items are overpowering, that's for sure. So you can keep doing that much damage over and over. That was rather close, eh? It was quite fine. Now as I see these villagers close up, they bear a striking resemblance to the two of you! You mean just the clothes, right? Because I'm pretty sure at this age there wouldn't be so much a resemblance. I mean, there's a quite lack of facial hair for starters. But who knows when more of these awful aliens will return? I believe it best to take these two to Master Bowser's ship. Those monsters. Their arrival seems like a horrible dream. It was all so sudden. Foul parasites from the shrew planet, land of utter creepiness. The purpose is oh so clear. They wish to take all we hold dear in the Mushroom Kingdom, our land, our very lives. I'd run if I were you. Go indoors, quick! Oh, the village is in ruins! And our beloved castle as well! F flee! Flee! We must escape! The castle is lost! As the aliens bust on- Ooh! Prince Bowser here! Come in, Kamek! Get the Koopa Cruiser here on the double! My Prince! Good shot! Prince Bowser, let's hightail it out of here! And that is how the Princess and I were rescued by Master Bowser, odd as that sounds. Now almost all of the Mushroom Kingdom has fallen under Shroob control. Sasu report your madness. We are currently on approach to Peach's castle. A once beautiful castle. No. Look at it now. Well, that was a quick makeover. No doubt. Those fiends call it Shroob Castle. Rumor has it their leader is there. Princess Shroob. Eh? What's that you say? Princess Peach is being held prisoner in the castle? How do you know that for sure? Oh, ho! Surely you jest. The princess is quite safe and sound right here with me. Hmm? I beg your pardon? The future Princess Peach? The future Masters Mario and Luigi? Ho 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 ho! You poor fellows. You've got a bit daffy, eh? Your noggins must have gotten bonked. Perhaps a nap. Hmm. Status report, now! You're foundless. We're receiving some sort of transmission from Peach's, I mean, Shroob Castle. A transmission? Put it on the monitor. Let's see what's up. Oh yeah, we're gonna understand that. Translation? Who's this hag? Th that must be Princess Shroob! Undoubtedly! Squiggles! 
I understand. More domination. Man, does anyone have any idea what she's blabbing about? Super villain stuff. Well, they do. Ah, P Prince Bowser F from Shroom Castle. It's a Shroom missile. It's headed straight for us. Whoa, the face of action. Cooper Cannon, fire! No, no ammo! What? You're fired! I think we're about to be. Direct hit! Well, yeah. The chaos keeps continuing. At a fast pace. Those alien dirtbags! We gotta hold it together until we get back home! I think you just about made it by the look of it. Well, I think this time they have been knocked in the head a bit. That was stuff well. It's just one disaster after another with you two, isn't it? It is indeed. Well, my keen detection skills don't pick up anyone else in the immediate vicinity. No one at all? Hmm? There's lava around, you know? That's really bad news. Perhaps they were all thrown clear by the crash, what with the destruction and exploding. According to my ultra radar, a new time hole has appeared somewhere in this castle. I think it may be advisable to find the time hole and return to our own time for a while. Okay. Try to figure out what's going on, I guess. We can't head back inside the Bowser Cruiser. But all we have now is to head onwards. Where will it take us? Well, there's Goombas, but I'm not sure how friendly they'll be and all. Okay, we've got the different button set as well. We've got green shells times a ton there. And this guy's actually trying to attack me. Well, sir, you seem to have heightened defenses. I'm pretty sure I'd probably take you out with the duo of the bros there. Goomba Stomp! We don't need to use the shells at the moment, do we? And we get ourselves another mushroom. Right, Goombas are just for stomping, so we should be completely fine continuing along that way, but... Not if I get preemptively attacked, that is. Well, there's one defeated. The combined power of the two of them can easily take it out. So it's two turns maximum at the moment. We'll get that lovely experience. But why attack? Why? I guess they don't even know who we are at this point in time, after all. One up mushroom, Mario and Luigi. But they know are babies. And they seem to just call them red and green. Some more green shells by the ton. Only one guy, well, poor be you. Lucky, we got ourselves a critical hit by the look of it. Well, Goomba after Goomba may stand in our way, but we'll take them down. Let's find that time hole. Okay, hello. I walked into him because there seemed a bit, a little bit of roof caught there, but they've got a view as well. He's trying to get me from behind, okay. Preemptively attack me, did you? Let's take out the Goomba first, that gives us more time to sort out your attack pattern, sir. Oh, I kind of guess the fact that which eye it uncovers is what person he's attacking. I still got hit all the same. Jump way too early. I want to get the jump timing right. But in the meantime, we'll probably take it out this round. Took a little bit of damage, but a lot more experience for that. Mushrooms times two. Now, boo, I do not wish to fight. Right. It seems you're kind of preventing a bit of preemptive attacking on your behalf, but still, we came down like a rain of thunder. Sounds way more cool than it really meant. Right, let's try and figure out these guys. Well, these guys aren't exactly that hard, considering they stand exactly in front of who they want to attack. Well, the counter-attacks will sort them out. Can't be that long for another level, you never know. 
Oh, nearly messed up that one. Probably still will. No, we got him. Bouncing around. And easy counters to take them out, eh? Goombas are the simplest of enemies. And another mushroom gained. Right, all we can do at the moment is explore and battle after all, so let's keep doing it. What was that? Like tons of coins there? Mushrooms times two. It looks to me that we want to be up on high. Well, Luigi walked into him there. I don't know if we can counter take these guys out now. But we definitely can if I don't jump on them, that's for sure. There we go. We'll take two attack rounds, but we'll be fine. Simple jumps will do. Maybe 100 experience for my next level? That's a nice round number after all. Right, so we've defeated everyone down below. In fact, this X marks the spot is very much something that we know we can do something with, but not at the moment, it seems. Right then, everyone needs to go up on high and follow the path. Try not to fall. That's the main thing. Oop. Yeah, I kind of nearly walked off right there and then. Over we go. Where we stop, we roughly know. Just over there. This would be easier with a D-pad, but of course I'm playing on a 3DS, so the control stick is what I'm using here. Another X marks the spot moment. Okay, what's going on here? Ow, Luigi! I really need to watch out. It seems Baby Mario is trying to get to Baby Luigi, or personally, it seems like Baby Luigi is a safe one. Baby! Baby? <laughs> really? You jumped down? Go down the chain a little bit first. That might be a better idea. Mario! Huh? Oh, stuff well. Hello! Have you used me as a sort of cushionation device? I am, of course, well padded. Baby Luigi would likely feel reassured by the sight of my luxurious lover. Oh, yeah. Let's go! You're gonna fall! But you're fine. Don't worry. You've located and been reunited with the babies. Back to adventure! Okay, we have ourselves a combination play, but what are the babies exactly doing? They're just staying there? Come on, babies. Don't cry! Mario! Allow me a brief apology. I was rushing. I forgot to mention, how to move as a group of four. You see, the babies are unable to understand my communicating. What a situation! Hmm. Babies! <laughs> okay, to play with your younger selves. you find funny, Luigi? There we go. Yes, they are not helpless. I suggest the four of you join forces and move on. Oh, wait a moment. Yes, proceeding as a group of four is rather vital. Look at the upper right hand part of the screen! When the icons look like this, Mario and Luigi can move! Go on, move about! When you're ready to proceed, let me know! Yes, I I'm sure I understand this much. Cool. When you want the juveniles to move on their own, press X or Y! Go on, little humans, move! When you're ready to proceed, let me know! So, 
X and Y switches them to them. I guess you can't really talk. Or you can, okay. In this way, control switches between the adult Mario and Luigi and the baby size ones. Yes, but there is even more informationizing! And this is extremely convenient. Mario and Luigi can give the babies piggyback rides and move about together. It is simple to do! When Mario and Luigi get near the babies, the tykes climb up automatically. Try it and see! Piggyback! The babies can also initiate the move by moving close to Mario and Luigi. Now then, let's go find our poor missing companions. Back to adventure! Oh yeah. Okay then, sir, but we will continue on, of course, next episode, guys. Have we've reached our time limit for today? We've now gained ourselves the baby Mario and Luigi as a piggyback couple with the adult ones. Hopefully, this will go fine. But uh, to be honest, it's going to probably add a lot more depth to the game as a whole that we know. So now the tutorials really get into things we need to know. Join me next time for more Partners in Time. Bye-bye.